What's going on everybody, it's Dilbert and welcome back. So in today's video, we're taking a deep look at Brilliant Labs Monocle, which I've been testing over the last few days and it is what I'm holding right here. Can you tell me a programmer joke? Okay, waiting for OpenAI. Sure, here's one. Why do programmers prefer dark mode? Because light attracts bugs, okay. <laughs> Also, big thanks to Brilliant Lab for letting me borrow this device for testing purposes and also for the community. The monocle device is a very small heads-up display, which you can basically attach to your existing glasses. And one of its main uses is to quickly help you build heads-up display experiences to extend your phone capabilities. Honestly, a very cool device. I personally wouldn't call it a true augmented reality device, but a heads-up display. However, it does have a FPGA accelerator, which enables machine learning and also computer vision use cases. All right, let's take a look at this device by doing an open box and also looking at some specs. You can see a clean design here on the box. And we can open it here on the, the right side. And this is what we have, basically to pair it. So as soon as you open it, you get this really cool design. And this is what is referred to as the monocle. And this is basically the charging case that I was talking to you guys. And also see the big battery here on the back of the actual charging case. And then if we take it out, let's go ahead and take it out, put it right here. And then you kind of see here, there's also a clip and there is also touch functionality here. Basically it allows you to, to interact with it. It's one of the sensors. There's also a camera here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a little camera and that is supposed to be a Sony camera that is very small and really cool. And you can see how it actually is projecting here from this section and just really cool device. There's really not much other than the USB-C cable. Basically you just connect it here where you have the USB-C and then this goes on one end and then the other end goes to a USB adapter or a computer. Just get it out and then just with the clip that we have right here, you can just basically attach it. And it's pretty easy to attach. There we go. Just have to make sure that it is well and aligned. And you can see that now it is attached and it's pretty steady though. Like if I were to move it, it attaches pretty well to the actual frame on the glasses. The camera captures 720 pixel, OLED displays, which is 640 by 400 with 20 degree FOB. Bluetooth is 5.0, which allows you to communicate with other devices. Battery will last approximately one hour and you can charge basically this device with the charging case up to six times. It has touch buttons, a microphone, a full feature MicroPython based operating system. And for those of you who don't know what that is, basically MicroPython is an implementation of a programming language largely compatible with Python 3 written in C that is optimized to run on microcontrollers. The case is also a fast charging case, just like your AirPods. So very similar to that, it'll recharge your device pretty quickly. As far as pricing, this device is $349 USD and it basically ships worldwide. It comes with the monocle device, also the charging case and also a USB-C cable. You can use AR Studio with VS Code, which I really love, which allows you to develop, test, and save apps directly on the Monocle device. You can also integrate Monocle with mobile applications due to the Bluetooth implementation. That means that you can write your own iOS and Android application. As long as you have a Bluetooth interface that can connect to it as a host, then you should be good to go. Then your phone basically can pass and receive that information from and to different cloud providers. This could even be a local service running on your machine. As long as you can see your phone and you can communicate to it, you can basically relay that information back to the monocle device via Bluetooth. A great example of this is done by Brilliant Labs themselves. They have built an application called ARGPT, a ChatGPT client for monocle, which adds as a Bluetooth host. Basically, monocle sends information to it via Bluetooth. Then the ARGPT communicates to OpenAI ChatGPT via web service. 
that request gets generated, it gets received, and then it gets sent back from your phone to the actual Monaco device. How long has coffee been around for? Coffee has been around for over thousands of years, with its origins dating back to the 9th century in Utopia. Which country produces the best coffee bean? Okay, waiting for OpenAI. There are several countries known for producing high quality coffee beans, including Colombia, Utopia, Brazil, and Costa Rica. Just name a few. Ultimately, the best coffee beans can be a matter of personal preference. All right, I know that was cool. Don't get me wrong. This is really cool and I do love this device, but the ultimate question is, do I recommend this device? Who is it for? Honestly, I love this device. Like I said at the beginning, this is not a fully fledged augmented reality device. You can't really compare it to devices such as a Magic Leap or a Quest or so on, but it is an amazing device that can help you learn augmented reality. And the potential about having a lot of different data right in front of you, data that you can be, you know, it can be actionable, that you can use for different use cases. So I do recommend this device. I think this is great for prototyping. So if you ask me today, Dilmer, should I get it? I'd say just get it because it's gonna help you learning and also the price is pretty low. If you were to ask me to compare this to other things right now, it is a really great entry point for anybody that likes to start hacking. Let me know what you think about it. If you like the device, if you have any ideas about apps to build with it, drop them below because I'm really curious about it. And also if you want to do maybe a community project that we can start, let me know because I think that would be pretty cool. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, because that's gonna help me in bringing you a lot more videos. And again, thank you very much for your time. Keep coding, keep being cool. Thank you so much.